Let's talk about staggers in VF3TB. What are they? How do they work? What should you do if it happens to you? We will cover all of that in this video. A stagger is an attack that puts your opponent off balance. While the opponent is staggered, they are unable to guard, but will be invulnerable to throws. The most common type of stagger is crouch stagger, which can be initiated by hitting a crouching opponent with an elbow class move or side kick class move. The amount of time spent in the stagger can be reduced by struggling. You can struggle by inputting as many directions and button presses as possible. A common method of stagger breaking is circling the joystick while holding G and simultaneously mashing the punch, kick, and evade buttons. The reason for holding guard, as opposed to mashing it like the other buttons, is so that once the stagger is broken, you will come out of it instantly holding guard. Refusal to struggle out of stagger can result in being knocked down by moves that would ordinarily not do so. Keep in mind that all examples given will be demonstrated with the expectation of breaking stagger. So, what should you do if you get staggered? Let's go over your basic options. Firstly, you can stand guard. By just holding G, you can block your opponent's high and mid-class moves. This will lose to low attacks as well as throws. However, you can input your throw escape after the threat of fast attacks as an option select. Although, this will lose to delayed or slower attacks you can also crouch guard. This will beat low and high attacks, but lose to mid attacks, and you won't be able to crouch fast enough to avoid throws. If your character has a reversal, you can also input this after getting staggered and option select a throw escape afterwards. And finally, you can also attack out of stagger. If you read that your opponent will throw, this is the most rewarding option but it has the most risk. Now let's talk about some more advanced options. Starting with backwards, crouch walk. To do this, simply hold down back after struggling to enter your crouch animation. This will give you the extra space you need to whiff short range attacks. Since you are crouching, you will also be able to guard low attacks or stand back up to guard mids. Crushing moves or swaying moves are another great way to avoid throws and certain attacks at the same time. You can also short hop to avoid throws and slower or delayed low attacks. It's also possible to avoid some faster lows as well. However, not every character has a short hop. Now keep in mind, most of the aforementioned tech can also be applied to your defense after being hit by wake up kicks or being picked up off the ground. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join the Virtua Fighter Discord.